Yo, KLG family again. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, B Boy John Spot. Today, I'm going to do my NXT review and results video. So, if you guys are new, hit that red button on my channel and turn on those post notifications. And let's get started on this NXT review because NXT, re NXT was a good show. All right, the opening segment opening segment Aaliyah, versus, Aaliyah with Vanessa Born versus Mia Yim. Um, this match was not that bad, but I'm going to read what happened. Of this match, aggressively taunting, taunting by Aaliyah to start out this match. Yim's unpraised tough, and she literally scares Aaliyah off her feet, landing on her rear end. Aaliyah settles down and takes con takes control of the match, including an insecurity for a two count. She missed a knee drop. Mia with Mia with drop toe hole into the turnbuckle. Kicks and then a belly to back suplex. Aaliyah rolls out to avoid pinfall. You're re re-entering re and Mia Yim hits to protect your neck on Aaliyah for a run, one, two, three. It says the winner of the match by pinfall, Mia Yim. This match lasted for five minutes. This match lasted for five minutes. This match wasn't that bad, but... But... This match wasn't that bad. This match lasted for five minutes. I love Mia Yim. Don't get me wrong, but it's just something not right about her. I love me some Mia Yim, but it's just something not right about her. That's just my opinion. All right. Post match, Yim checks Boom into a into the steel steps. She headed for an exit to a for, headed for the NXT announcer table and, and sends a message to Baszler. She's coming for her title. Okay, let me continue. Number one, cool your point. One, Aaliyah, who continues to uh, to be entertainment to watch getting beaten up. So much, much attitude, even able to back it up at times. She made real progress this year. Cool point for Yim, who endures the most cool your like offense of Aaliyah before putting her away for the win. Definitely a top contender in the women's division. Okay, let me move on. Highlights from the end to last week NXT Women's Champion. Still cage are shown. The this includes the post match attack by Leo Sharari on Candice Lee Ray, who tried to help her out. Kathy Kelly asked general manager NXT general manager William Regal about it. She begins to discuss it when Forgotten Sons interrupted them and demands a match with a still profits for the NXT tag titles. Uh, Regal reminds them that they got themselves disqualified, so in his mind, they already got the title shot. Blake Cutter and Rico Riker all says they won't forgive this. Do um, Kelly asks if Regal has another team in mind to face the Street Profits. Regal says next week we will see them against Danny Birch and um, One and One um, Lorcan. Okay, Se second segment: the Bay Bay Champion Adam Cole Celebration Week Two. I love, I love it. Whoever wrote this script, I would love to meet. That person and shake that person's hand at the same time. That's all I gotta say. That's just my opinion. Adam Cole Baby celebrates week two video is shown. Um, Cole is Cole's in Cleveland. First he ordered pizzas from Guerrero uh, from for Gargano's, leaving his signed picture on their wall of fame. Next he goes to Gargano's wrestling school where he launches into a speech and are uh, realizing that. Realizing they will never be the NXT champion. He recommends they leave the school. Leave the city and leave the city and just give up. Okay. Um, Koshida versus Jeff Parker. Oh my God. Who won this match? It says, repeatedly tumbling Carville by Koshida while remaining, remaining the chin lock on Parker. Head, head spring back elbow by Kushida, no pinfall. Um, the winner of the match by submission 
and the winner by the match by submission Kushida. This match lasted in 2.5 2.5 minutes. 2 in 2 2 to 5 minutes. This match lasted 5 minutes. Backstage Kelly interviews Tyler Breeze and reminds everyone that this is an ex Breeze and and it was a it was that long before the long before the Undisputed Era showed up. A promo from Killian Dan and it's showing it's showing. He's coming soon to NXT. Um the third match, the third segment, Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Cameron Grimes. NXT breakout tournament one. Triple H did a good job with this tournament thing. Triple H is a genius. Um, highlight includes Scott showing off his speed and agility in the agility from the get go with a hurricane and and a kick and a kip up into a drop kick. Gaming sends him into the floor and stops the offensive barrage, but Scott continues splashing down on Grimes as the as he tried to get back into Get back in. One, two, kick out. Sit down, powerbomb by Grimes. And one, two, nope. Scott is pressing to force Burry flop to the outside. Flattens, flattens. Grim to the floor. Impressive back into the ring. They go. Grimes counters and catches Scott for a splash. One, a double stump. One, two, three. Um, the winner of the match, Cameron Grimes. This match outlast. This match lasted in eight minutes. This match lasted lasted in eight minutes. Fourth segment: Bianca Belair versus Pris, Pristrilla, Pristrilla Zong Zongia. Okay, I like. Okay, let me read what happened. Um, Baylor attitude is full effect here. The new girl. She checks Zongia. Zong. Zon, Zangiga into the corner. I was trying to pronounce that word. Spear military press and then she just drops Zangiga into the mat. So much strength, Zangiga tries to catch her off guard, but catch her off guard with a boot. Second rope, her Karana attempts, but Baylor catches her for not one, not two, but three power bombs. Cod for the win. The winner of the match, Bianca Belair. This this match lasted four minutes. Okay. All right. Clips of Matt Riddle train are shown in all of the fighting despite he is comfortable with. The main the main event match of the evening, Roderick Strong versus Tyler Breeze. Now this match was good. This match was good. This match was good. Not, uh, McGinn is wondering aloud if Breeze has the stamina to keep up with Strong in a singles match. Hot start from Breeze that capped when he yells at the referee not to much him, not to touch him. On the outside, Breeze changes Strong but gets launched at the edge of the steps. Yikes, that looked painful. It sure did look painful. Backbreaker on the barricade. Jawbreaker by Breeze sends Strong to the floor. Quick return. Breeze flies with a leaping forearm off the apron. He rolls Strong back in. Backstabber for a two count. Breeze second the turnbuckle and Strong and Strong with a with the step up in Seguri to calm him down. Punch, punches back and forth on the top turnbuckle. Strong with a suplex for a two count. Breeze is throwing everything he can at Strong until he finally takes out Strong with an insecurity. He, as he extends to the top rope, it's the undisputed arrow who comes out. Fish distract Breeze. Okay. Strong with an end of the harder, harder attach and then the pinfall. One, two, three. The winner of the match, Roderick Strong. This match lasted 10 minutes. This match lasted 10 minutes. Catch up on the NXT 
results June 19th with Cole returns to full sale. January, no, I'm not January. NXT results, um, NXT results June 26th. Baszler versus Shirari, Shirari Steel Cage. Okay. Now, all I gotta say is NXT was a good show. Way better than Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. That's just my opinion. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my think of NXT. Leave a like, comment down below what you guys think of NXT. Share the video. And um, this your boy people John Two Five. Make sure I get make, make sure you give me a thumbs up on on give me a thumbs up on this review. This your boy people John Two Five KFG Family Game. Talk to you guys later.